welcome back to plug and play ev and back in the bolt with an update on the recall so we've had the uh, q1 2022 nitsa update with some uh, good news for the 2017 to 2019 owners and uh, not so great news for ourselves and anyone else who's in a model year after the 2020 but let's dig into the numbers what they represent and what we can see coming out of uh, the april report So for context, the NHTSA reports are the official GM numbers to the uh, transportation agency that is monitoring the recalls, and uh, they are provided quarterly, so we get kind of about a month after the quarter ends, we get a look back into what GM did over the preceding three months, how far it got, and how far we are into the overall replacement of the population, which uh, is split up into two groups. So for the 2017 to 2019 model years, it's uh, 57,414. And for the 2020 to 2022 model years, it's 52,414. So 414 seems to be a important number there. Now the good news uh, for the previous group on the 2017s, 18s and 19s, which is the uh, one that's been affected for longer, has had more uh, vehicle fires for, from Bolt EVs in those model years, uh, is that they're very close to 50%. In fact, at the time of recording now, we're in May, so they're very likely to be well above 50%. So 26,925 have had pack replacements of the 57,414 as of the end of March 2022. So that's 47%, and now we're obviously, they've continued to replace them through April and into May here. So we've got to be close to uh, certainly above half of that population and approaching 60% uh, now. So that's the good news. We, we definitely had had that in previous updates. We saw that a lot of people in those 2017s and 2019s especially were getting their packs replaced, reporting uh, good service. And we've got the dealer map that you can use uh, with the link down in the description and the comments to find a dealer in your area who has uh, had a report of a positive battery pack replacement. So for those guys, it's uh, coming along nicely and that should be done. Hopefully, if not in Q2, certainly by the early stages of Q3, we should see most of the people who wanted to have a pack replacement in their 2017, 18 or 19 Bolt EV have it done and uh, have all this behind them. So flipping to the bad news, and it's for 2020 owners, or 2021 and uh, 2022 Bolt EV and Bolt EUV owners. Um, only 1% of the uh, population getting a pack replacement as of the end of March 2022. That uh, reaches a paltry 661 vehicles out of a population of 52,414. So very, very early stages. We had kind of seen, you know, only a few people reporting uh, in 2020s and 2021s that they'd got their battery replacement in the last update a couple of months ago. So we knew it was early days, but uh, it shows just kind of confirms they haven't really made any great progress in that population. And it kind of coincides with the resumption of production of the 2022 Bolt EV and Bolt EUV and a new campaign to advertise that and start to get some of those cars out there being sold uh, new from dealerships. So how much of that is related? It seems a little bit too coincidental to suddenly have a lot of um, packs going into new cars and uh, then the pace kind of really not take off for the 2020, 2021 model years and anyone who's managed to buy a 2022. But clearly those numbers are not heartening for, um, for anyone who's been wanting to get that done urgently or get some kind of clarity on when that's going to happen. It actually seems to be moving at a very glacial pace. So nothing positive to report in this NHTSA update from at least Q1. Maybe we'll get more in Q2, but again, that won't come out until end of June being the reporting period and uh, then July, end of July 2022 being the next report due. So we are well into summer at that point. And then personally with this car, we did actually go ahead and get the software update done, which limits it to 80%. If you'd watched any of the previous updates, you'll know that we hadn't done that. This was our only vehicle and uh, we needed that uh, ability to go up to the higher state of charge if we wanted to and then go into the lower state uh, on road trips just to give us the full extent of the pack. Well, obviously more recently we've uh, come into having the Hyundai Ionic 5 for our road trips and that's what will be the long distance travel and arrow. So really the Bolt is gonna be uh, used for Occasionally some regional trips maybe, but mostly around town and doing local 
medical duty, so the limitation of that 80% isn't going to be quite so uh, problematic now. So we went ahead and got it done. Um, it was done whilst we were doing some uh, other maintenance. You can see now, as I'll overlay on the screen, it kind of, uh, in your target charge level screen, you can uh, tap it up to get up to 100%, but then it just resets it back down to 80%. Um, and we're heading into summer here, so that's, uh, you know, 80% is good for 200, 210 miles of charge at least. And, um, you know, that's that's perfectly acceptable for us at this point. And, you know, from a pure just wanting to see what it does um, standpoint, that was interesting. And we'll see if it has any of these kind of impacts on DC fast charging. We'll do some tests and potentially maybe even get uh, the battery pack a little bit earlier. Now, whether we are in this car long term, whether it uh, will even be something that we end up doing with it or if it will be for the next owner. If that happens, uh, we'll wait to see, but it gives us something new to kind of latch on to, look at the uh, limitations, living with that 80%, but being able to go down into the lower half of the pack and not really worry about it. Um, we hadn't had any restrictions on parking, anything like that. We always park outside. It does give you that diagnostic software, it does give you the potential to be bumped up the list if the software update flags you for a priority replacement. So we'll see how that goes. And obviously as more information comes in, whether it's before the quarterly reports or uh, whether that provides the next reason to uh, to dig into this, we will do so. But that's the update right now. Uh, how are you coming along if you're in a uh, older model year and you've had your pack replacement? Is it going as expected as uh, everything gone to plan? If you're in a 2020 or newer, are you running out of patience here? Is this just dragging into close to another uh, year and and just giving you too much to uh, worry about. Um, let us know where you are in the comments. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. We haven't done one of these for a couple of months, so uh, it'll be interesting to see where people are. And if you're considering a 2022 model um, and a Bolt EV or a Bolt EUV, whatever it is, let us know how the market's looking. I know more and more people since production has resumed are starting to get into those and see either a brand new car because they were looking or a some kind of MSRP swap uh, or using the money they got from a buyback to get into another bolt. Um, lots of stuff there, lots of new things to look at from GM in future videos. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.